Welcome back to Fan Configuration. I'm Erisi. And I'm Eloise. And today is part 500 of mistakes Erisi makes on a daily basis. <laughs> I have an amazing figure for you today that I told Brand myself new. repeatedly I was not going to get. And I was just sad in mourning that I was like, oh, I'm just not going to be able to get it. I'm not going to be able to pre-order. know that's not true. So it was still up for pre-order a couple weeks ago, and I knew it was coming out this month, so I was like, oh. <laughs> so yes, today for you ladies and gents, I yeah. have Roy Mustang! Uh, this the brand new figure. <laughs> this is by Kota Mokita, <laughs> and it's a 1-8 scale, and it's part of their Art F XJ line, which I think is the same as the Spike Spiegel that I have, and they're doing a lot of older anime characters recently. I think we were kind of discussing that it's probably because a lot of them are coming up on 15, 20, and like 25 year yeah. anniversaries. A lot of these celebration things are like, oh, let's just bring up all this old stuff that people love and make figures of them. They're making like lots of nostalgic figures, lots of old school animes that are really like cool and special. Yeah. So. And a lot of male figures too, which is really cool because, you know, as we all are familiar with, there's usually a prejudice that there's like a lot more female figures, mm -hmm. but that's changing as time goes on, which I appreciate. Yes. So here's his box. You can see him He's in, big box. in big the boy. front and then the side, there's just a picture of him looking swaggy. In the back, there's a little ring of fire <laughs> and another window. <laughs> And, and then just another picture with some detail shots. So I got an eyelash in my eye. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so we are going to unbox this and show you what it looks like. He's very pretty. Oh, that's my finger, sorry. <laughs> and he looks back and beautiful. <laughs> he is really a figure to behold. He's very, very sturdy. I noticed when taking him out of the box, he's quite hefty. Mm -hmm. I think because just the base, like with the rock he's leaning against is pretty like thick and he doesn't have to, there's no like assembly required really. His feet are already permanently screwed into the base. The only thing you can like, put on or take off is his jacket, which is kind of cool. I'm so you have the- straight. See this little jacket right here? He just, oh, I can get a hold of it. Oh God, this is supposed to be easy. There we go. <laughs> yeah, it just slides right off. So you have the option of having it on or off depending on, on what you prefer, really. Mm -hmm. So what I really like about this figure, first off, is the fact that there is such beautiful motion in it. The flames are like really swirling is. to the left and his jacket's like swirling around so it looks like a cyclone of air is kind of surrounding him. Which is just really cool. It looks really dynamic. I mean I think that just the addition of the flames which have like a really nice see-through kind of you know realistic quality to them just adds like an element of awesomeness to this. So what I like is speaking of what you were just saying and I just thought of this is that normally when you see Roy in poses and like art or anything else he kind of has that traditional pose where he's like standing with his arms straight out like he's about to snap his fingers. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's got a little smirk on his face, yeah. you know, the one I'm talking about. Yeah. That's like this very stereotypical normal Roy face. Yeah. But what I like about this is that you're seeing his much more serious side and like he's ready yeah. to fuck a bitch up. Like, yeah, <laughs> this is kind of like more like in the war Roy because there's um, behind him on the back, you can see better. Oh gosh. There is the banner of the military and it's torn and sort of draped over the rock, which has an alchemy circle carved into it. Yes. So there's kind of that element of symbolism. And you, you can, can see the circle down here. You can like, so I think it's awesome because there's sort of some narrative and like references things from the show, which is really nice and cool. Yes. He's a 1 8, but he's actually quite sizable for 1 8. Oh yeah. I was putting him next to my um, Artifacts J. Spike Spiegel, who is a 1 7th scale, and they're almost the same size. Like, I feel like 
And not to say that Spike's small, Spike is big. He's a very large figure. So Roy is just also very big. So I really appreciate that. I mean, because the bigger the better. Exactly. Typically, yeah. and with figures, so yeah. But it's like you can squeeze so much more detail in. Like you can see the alchemy symbol on his gloves and everything. And I like that you can like even see like pronounced hand and like finger bones yeah. in there. Like not to make that, that sounds weird using those words, but. <laughs> no, it's true. Like just But you like, can see the like the musculature yeah. that goes into it. And I love that detail. Yeah, it's really nice. I mean, this figure is a statement piece. Like the paint application is flawless. Like the shading of darker blues in his outfit, just amazing. Like the tiny details of the gold, like accents of his jacket. Mm -hmm. Like it's it's quite spectacular. Like Cody it really knocked it out of the park this time. They're fantastic. They always knock it out of the park. <laughs> Cody Makia rarely if ever fails so yeah and you know just thinking for some shits and giggles i think i should put a little special someone a little special someone <laughs> I next hear, to him i can hear him screaming in anger now <laughs> and this boys and girls is our special little friend <laughs> emphasis on the little right now especially special little friend edward elric uh this is actually the square enix posable um edward elric figure that came out in 2004. It it's said. old. <laughs> it was one of my very first figures that I ever got and I love him to bits and pieces. I actually do have all of his pieces still. I tried to find the box to bring and show you guys, but I can't remember where I put it, but I know I have it. So <laughs> it's somewhere, <laughs> but as you I mean, obviously they're not to scale at all because <laughs> 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 Ed is small, but he ain't that small. Ed is small, but he's not like infant next to Roy. <laughs> so uh, that, that's just, we wanted to do that for a little throwback. And I wanted to show off my cute little Ed figure that I've had for like 13 years now. Yeah. Yeah. Because I've been looking up on my Alchemist for a very long time. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, that kind of wraps up our review of Roy Mustang. He's amazing, and it's another Husbando to add to the Husbando she has shelf. Put down. I love him. He's she beautiful. Just, just cradles him lovingly. <sighs> and it just <laughs> brings more pain of the, over that Edward L work that's coming out because it's also amazing. And yeah, well. I, I think a lot of this has been brought on too by um, Eresy's girlfriend, Emily, that was featured in one of our other videos has not seen all of Brotherhood yet, and we're going through that with her. Yeah, so she hasn't hit the Roy pain train yet, but she's in She's for, about to. She's she's gonna get into it soon, and she's we're not coming for you, Emily. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching, and like, comment, subscribe, and all that jazz, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>